She nervous, bruh? Juju, juju, juju. Okay. All right, we got a lot to go over, so let's go ahead and get into this. What's going on, all my returning clients? Much love and appreciation as always, but if you're new here though, my name is Hayes, veterinarian sneakerhead, hence the name, the shoe vet. Back again, once again, my buddy here, sneakers. Today's video, we're going over my recent Amelion door pickups, ranging from things like the Porsche collection to spring, summer 2021. As I mentioned before, there's a lot to go over. So I'm not even gonna do all the intro stuff and everything. Let's go ahead and get into today's review. Yeah, now these are my first pair of penny loafers of recent memory. Yeah, these are the penny loafers made in Portugal that got off of the Amelie Andorra website. Pretty expensive. I wanna say they're a little bit over $200, somewhere, somewhere around in there, uh, but they're quite nice. I mean, the craftsmanship, the craftsmanship of these shoes right here, perfect, A1. These came in multiple colors, but I decided to go with the forest green color. I don't really think I have any green green shoes uh, material wise on the top. I mean, it's a really, 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 really fine short haired suede. And let me tell you again, the feeling of these shoes right here are just amazing quality wise. 11 out of 10, to be honest with you. You have the rubber midsole and the, uh, you know, little rubbery heel, leather outsole, and then you got kind of a leather interior on the inside of the shoe too as well. Amy Leondor branding. And yeah, I think these are just a perfect, you know, little penny loafer. I, I, I forget the actual name of this part right here, but yeah, right here you can, you know, this is where you can actually, or historically put an actual penny, hence where the name came from, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, man, just a nice, nice little spring summer vibes right here with this shoe. Now, as far as how to style, you know, these shoes, it was a little bit of a mix between being laid back and a little bit preppy. So, you know, had some white socks on. Uh, moving up from that, the jeans are from Amy the on door uh, slightly rolled up a little bit for that preppy look you also see that break between the pants and the shoe uh, up from there the bamboo cotton t-shirt from essentials white shirt white socks kind of playing together you know the vibes you got the pendant you got the gold pendant right there, uh, nice little accessory. And then as far as another accessory goes, green hat from Amy Leon Door. You know, that green is a little bit of a different shade from this green, but I think it still works out overall. I mean, you guys let me know. As far as additional accessories though, uh, the little thing that I have in my hand right there, that's called a comboloy. That's what this is right here. Um, now this, this I actually got from the Porsche collection. Uh, you, there is the, you know, the Amy Leondora Super Carrera little emblem on here, but basically what Comboloids, I hope I'm pronouncing that right too, but basically what Comboloids are, it's a, uh, a kind of a Greek, um, I call it like worry beads, if you will, um, for like anxiety and everything like that. Think of it kind of like uh, the fidget spinners. Think of it kind of like those things. You just kind of flip it back and forth. Now there are definitely, there are definitely, you know, some tricks and everything that you can do with these. I don't know said tricks, but I'm working on it. I'm still working on the, you know, traditional combo. Uh, if you will. So yeah, I just thought this was a pretty nice thing to you know get off to as well. It's pretty expensive though for some beads, 125 out when you can really get these for like 20 bucks, whatever like that. But it's the name brand, you know how it goes. But yeah, I just think these are a uh, perfect pair of penny loafers and definitely pleased to have these in my collection. Oh, one more thing about the penny sizing. Sizing, yeah. Let me let me let me let me get on my soapbox for that real quick. Turn around while I'm talking to the audience, man. Yeah, the sizing on these penny loafers are super important because these these fit pretty long, so most people say either go down half a size or a full size and a half, um, down from your true to size. So I went down a size and a half, I'm just a nine and a half, but when a size eight, even with my orthotics in there, I think it's a perfect fit. So yeah, I would probably say if you have a small to narrow foot, definitely go down a size and a half would be my recommendation if you have a large or a long foot. I mean, these, these are pretty narrow. I'm just gonna be straightforward. They're pretty narrow, so I would say maybe just go down a size, you know, if, if, you, had a, if you have like a big, big foot, maybe half a size. But um, yeah, I would definitely say stray away from your true to size because it's going to be a little bit on the big side. All right, now bringing out the next thing we're going to go over the Amy Leon Dora and New Balance 1300s. Now, what's crazy, what was controversial about these shoes is it wasn't really the shoes itself. It was the lack of time between like those who hit on the raffle and everything like that and when the shoes actually were sent out. Now granted, you know, I'm giving them, you know, there's, you know, the bug happened. So that slowed down production and everything like that. Ooh, I get it, but 
Whew, that was that was some time. And you know, to be honest, after getting these shoes, I don't really think it was worth it. Quality is there. The quality is definitely there. Uh, but the, the, there's just nothing really too crazy special about these shoes. You know, they're not like a 990 V2 or even a V5 or anything like that. But hey, not complaining. I got them. Um, I'm not gonna go over these shoes separately. They're literally like the same shoe aside from the color. So, you know, we're just gonna go ahead and, um, you know, break one of them down at least. So, you know, starting with the silhouette, you know, you got 1300 as far as composition of the shoe. I mean, the suede, I will give them credit though. This suede right here, one of the best ways I've ever felt in a shoe. Uh, super, super hairy, you know, on either shoe. You can really, I, I think it shows out a little bit better on the green shoe just how hairy that suede is. So the details of the shoe are just extraordinary. Starting from the tongue, both shoes have a nylon tongue, kind of like a cream color, and they do have the logo tag stitch on it. It reads Amy on door, you know, New Balance Classic 1300, made in USA. Cool. Both of them have white flat laces. Moving down Roshley to the toe box, you do have like a mesh underlay of the toe box and it's surrounded by a suede overlay. We move caudally back. Both shoes have a in. Uh, if you actually shine a light on, you know, both of the ends, I don't think this light is going to do it justice, but they do. There is a little bit of three image on both of the ends. But um, yeah, otherwise, though, you go on to the back, you got New Balance on the heel. On, on the pink shoe, it's in navy blue. And then on the green shoe, it is white. And we go down to the midsole. The midsole, you do have that, you know, end cap technology and you have some foam. On the outsole of the shoe, you do have a rubber outsole and kind of almost like a trail pattern. Insole wise, they're pretty much identical aside from the colors. Dude, you are so rude today. Yeah, at least go to the side. <laughs> they are identical aside from the colors. So in the pink shoe, it is a navy blue coloring. And then on the in the green shoe, I think it's a green. Yeah, it's a green New Balance Classic and it's perforated. So it's perfect for summer. As far as sizing goes, I mean, I traditionally always go down half a size in any New Balance shoe. So I went down from a nine and a half to a nine. Fits me perfectly. But whatever you traditionally wear New Balance is in, I mean, go with that. You'll be just fine. As far as how I styled these shoes. So we're going to start with this shoe right here. So we got the pink flamingo shoe, if you will. So I just kind of played around with the colors that are already inside the shoe, kind of, sort of. It's pink and navy blue. So pants wise, I went with navy blue to kind of match this navy blue right here. These are some I Love Ugly Chinos. Very, very, you know, smart preppy looking pants. Even rolled it up a little bit, quite nice. Uh, even more of a preppy look, I have a, you know, green bamboo cotton shirt from Essentials that is, oh, tucked in. And I mean, I think overall it's a nice little preppy look for a eh, nice little nice little date, you know, night out of town, somewhere around in there. Uh, these are definitely comfortable shoes to, you know, stay out till whatever hours in the morning if you're doing, you know, if you guys have a good night on the date, hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, moving on up, you know, we got the pendant again. And then as far as the hat goes, so that hat is a navy blue hat off the Amy Leon Door Uniform 2. I think capsule. Yeah, I think it's the uniform two capsule. And of course, that navy blue talking to the navy blue in the plan, talking to the navy blue in the shoe. But yeah, like I said, it's kind of preppy. Shirt folded in, you know, hem of the pants kind of rolled up a little bit. But I think it's still kind of casual. You're not really trying too hard. I think it's a nice little fit, you know. Styling this uh, green tree frog shoe right here, though. Uh, so this right here, playing with the color. So pink is complementary to the green. If you guys don't use color wheels too as well, definitely use those. I tend to use those quite more often often nowadays so definitely looking to use some color wheels but yeah i use the pink and the sweatpants so these are the essentials fear of god sweatpants so yeah pink you know complementary to the green got the white t-shirt and then you know as far as accessories go we got the brimless brown hat i like the brown because it it, it, it gives it a little bit of a break uh but it's also still an earth tone like green so i, I think it's still you know, works with the entire outfit uh, just fine. And yeah, this is kind of like a, just a kind of a chill, casual look. Since essentially these shoes, this different color, I wanted to show what this shoe looks like a little bit, you know, not dressed up, a little on the preppy side, and then what it looks like, you know, kind of dressed down, kind of casual. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that though. But yeah, that pretty much is it for these shoes. Now we're gonna run into the shirt, and we're gonna save the shirt that I know everybody's wanting to see last. So let's go ahead and get into this shirt first. This is off the Porsche collection, um, as well as that Comboloy. I mean, this is a standard, you know, black t-shirt. Uh, Amy Leon Dora, Super Carrera, New York in the zip code on the top left chest area. And on the back, you got the Amy Leon Dora Porsche logo. You have like a little 
Amy Leon Dore tag down here too as well. But I mean, overall it's a pretty, you know, basic, you know, black t-shirt with the logos. As far as sizing goes, I got it in an extra small because I know that Amy Leon Dore, for me, fits just a little bit on the bigger size. So I wanted something a little more fitted. So that's what I recommend to do. It, it's not gonna be super fit. It's not gonna be tight or, you know, really form fitting or anything like that. But if you want something that's a little bit more fitted, definitely go down a size. But it, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit on the oversized side uh, if you go true to size size now this is the shirt that i know everyone's you know wanting to you know get into uh the rico shirt this shirt had an insane amount of hype and i kind of understand it but then i kind of don't understand it um i mean it is a very beautiful shirt but i mean the price and everything too on it i think it was like maybe like 225 some around it, it's, it's an expensive shirt um around the 200 dollar area um, and at the end of the day, it is literally just a lace shirt. Now granted, the, the craftsmanship of the shirt, I think is done extraordinarily well, but was it worth all that much? Not really. If I did not hit on retail, I would not be having this shirt because the resale prices that I've seen are just absurd. As far as the details, I mean, it's it's a button up shirt. It does have a little collar on it. The shirt came in two different colors too, mind you. There's this yellow shirt, kind of almost, almost it's like canary yellow. And then there is a polar bear white. As far as sizing goes, so I actually went true to size on this. Uh, I wasn't really sure if it's gonna fit big or small. So I kind of just like took a shot and just went my true to size small. And I think it, I think it fits perfectly. I probably could have done a little bit better going down, but honestly, I think going true to size works just well. Uh, just for me, I think the sleeves cut off at the right area. The shoulders kind of slouch down just a little bit. So the sleeves, it looks like it's a little bit longer than what it is because of that. But it's not a complaint. It's just a detail of the shirt. As I mentioned before, this is pretty much a lace shirt. So it's a little on the little, little bold, you know, a little bit on the bold side. But I mean, hey, it's a lace shirt, man. I, I both times I've worn the shirt twice already right now. And both times I have yet to not receive any compliments or stares with this. I mean, it's, 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 it's a good shirt. Don't get me wrong. But price wise, Whew. Yeah, that's that's tough. Now, as far as how I style uh, the Rico shirt right here, uh, I definitely got some retro vibes from this. So, um, starting from the shirt, of course, you got the yellow Rico shirt, white t-shirt underneath, you know, just something neutral, blah, whatever. Moving on down, we have some gray pants from Amiri. So these are some flared velour pants from the house of Amiri. If you were to touch them, they're kind of like a velvety kind of material, but of course the flare really gives it that kind of rock star retro -y look, perfect. Um, moving on from that, because of the flare, I wanted to pick something of a, you know, chunky silhouette for a shoe. And seeing that, you know, this shirt's kind of a, almost like a almost like a pastel-y kind of color. I went with a uh, kind of a light purple shoe. So those are the Golf Le Fleur Converse Tianos and that purpley color. Love that shoe. Think it, I think it goes perfectly with this outfit right here. Um, nice and chunky. So, you know, the pants flare into it just fine. Um, as far as accessory goes, you know, gold pendant, um, gold retro aviator glasses, pretty much all in all, a nice little retro fit. And I do love the shirt. Don't get me wrong. I do love this shirt, but... Um, yeah, that was a tough one. I think that was the only thing I got on that drop. You know, this, this shirt, it, it was expensive, man. So moving on to the last items, we're finally at the top. So we're gonna go over, you know, these hats that I got. Now I'm not really a big fan of the New Era hats, but I decided to kind of pick these up. Um, these are the New York Mets and New York Yankee. Um, newer fitted hats um i don't really have that many fitted hats so i'm just kind of like you know why not they're interesting colors okay cool and i like the detail primarily on the back each of them have a an adjustable strap but made out of leather and i really do like that detail um on the front you know you got you know the yankees and mets logo uh six panel hat on the side you do have the amy leon door um branding on the side and cursive and i mean that's pretty much you know about it nothing really too crazy too special about them but you know these right here uh, come off so i am primarily a dad hat guy so these are way more up my alley so this is honestly one of my favorite hats in my collection right now so this is coming from the porsche collection uh hence the super carrera the details on this hat so first off you know the hat's made up nylon i mean that's already up my alley great um i love the stitching the contrast stitching is very very bold on this hat really really sticks out favorite detail 
on the hat though, hands down, is a Super Carrera right here. It is in a silicone type material, so a little bit of a 3D effect, just a little bit when you actually like write up on the hat, just a little bit. But I love that detail. Um, logo on the side, on the back, you got the adjustable nylon strap uh, with like a little bold clicky thing. And um, you know, of course the Amy Leon door, I don't know if this shows up, but the Amy Leon door tag in silicone too as well. Now moving on from that, another nylon hat, uh, New Balance, Amy the on door this is from the spring summer this was spring summer 2021 collection yeah it came along with these shoes right here uh i they came with a sh it had a shirt too as well i wasn't really like feeling it too much but i did want to i did want to at least get the hat because the the logo on the front it, it's nice i mean look at the details you know you got the new balance but all the flowers and the and the plants and the butterflies and all that good stuff i mean definitely Definitely some really good spring vibes. So I, I quite like that. Six panel hat, New Balance, Amy the Undoer on the back, adjustable strap too as well. And yeah, it's an overall solid hat. Um, I don't think I have any like white or cream hats. So that was another reason why I needed to uh, get this, but I need to fold this bill. I hate I hate the straightforward like flat bills. Like, But now I gotta have a little curve in it. But yeah, I think that is going to pretty much be the conclusion of this haul. My favorite piece that I got you know, out of all of this, honestly, man, I think it's a Super Carrera hat. I, I it, it's got to be this because, like, really, like, I get the most wear out of this. It goes most of my outfits. Don't get me wrong, this Rico shirt is it's up there, but man, I, I'm just in love with this hat. Um, it's it's it may be basic to you, but to me, like, I, I I love hats like this. Uh, what was your favorite piece that I got from this? What was your favorite piece you got from Amy Andor lately? Let me know in the comments down below. But with that, that's gonna be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys become a client though. You do that by hitting the description button down below as well as hit the notification bell so you be notified in the next video. Eh. But that's gonna pretty much do it for today's video. I hope you guys. <laughs> But that's gonna pretty much do it for us today on today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you become a client. You do that by hitting the description button down below as well as hit the notification bell. So you'll be notified of my next appointment. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. The handle is at drhays91 and that'll be in the description box down below. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video.